It has been a while since we did an add-ons news video, so today we're gonna take a look at some of the latest add-ons and updates from the community. These add-ons range from modeling, lighting, workflow, motion graphics add-ons, and more. We will kick off today's video with one of the best UV packing tools on the market, which is UV Pack Master 3. It has been a while since it was released, but if you missed it, UV Pack Master 3 is better than ever with GPU accelerated UV packing engine, which is also able to perform advanced operations such as alignment, in addition to having stacking algorithms, also other tools as well. This version introduced advanced shooting tools with the ability to label different UV groups and prioritize UV islands by assigning a scale limit to islands with less priority. Also, heuristic search, which uses your GPU and CPU simultaneously to find the best packing in seconds. We also have the ability to lock the stacked UVs, pack for non-square textures, and so much more. Also, if you missed it, Clean Panels add-on is a really handy tool that helps to categorize your add-ons and filter them into different categories and groups for modeling, physics, simulation, and whatever you want. Sometimes, the Blender sidebar gets really crowded, especially when you install a lot of add-ons. And Clean Panels helps to organize your add-ons and filter them to avoid crowded workspaces. This add-on helps to divide your favorite add-ons into categories of add-ons and assign an icon for each category. It also offers three different ways to access your add-ons. You have drop-down menus, a dedicated pie menu, and an end panel with icons. We already reviewed Clean Panels add-on recently, so if you want to check it out, you can find the video in the description below. Now, if you are interested in lighting add-ons, Gobos Light Textures for Blender is a library of textures used to generate realistic shadows in your scene. So instead of playing simple point or sun lamps, this add-on adds much more depth and realism to your renders and animations. This is the case using something called implied lighting, which is when an object outside of the scope of the camera casts a shadow inside the scene, which makes the scene look much bigger than it actually is. And it also helps with realism. Gobos comes with 90 plus light textures divided into 9 categories such as abstract, caustic, clouds, forest, grid, leaves, and animated. Now talking about cameras and animations, we have QShot 2, formerly known as QuickShot. It is an add-on developed by Chip Alters, Anthony, and Greasy Bear. This is basically the QuickShot add-on with a lot more features, only now it is called QShot 2. The add-on is similar to the previous version and allows you to create multi-camera animations with no keyframes, only drivers, meaning once you apply a driver to the object, it will continue animating until you tell the driver to stop. There is also a camera shake driver, and you can adjust the strength however you want. So if you want to streamline your animation workflow and showcase your projects quickly, then you will find this add-on very useful. We also have Shockwave, which is a Blender add-on from the developers of Particle Axe, Sci-Fi Elements, and Quake Animation Tools. Shockwave add-on does exactly what it says on the box. It helps to create shockwaves in Blender by using Blender's Particle System. The add-on is really simple and straightforward. You also have a lot of control over the lifetime of the particles and colors, in addition to speed and everything you need to control to get whatever you want from the particle system. But you also have access to the forces, so you can change the force strength, size, and flow. Another add-on from the same developers is called Vera Camera Motion. This add-on adds real-life camera motions to your scene. All of them record using motion tracking in Blender. The workflow is very simple. You just select a preset and add to it the camera, and you can manipulate the position of the camera manually by using the parent empty object. The add-on comes with 25 presets with different types of motion, such as steady, stable, shaky, checkpoint, chaos, and more. When it comes to productivity and workflow, we have the Alt Tab Sprinter add-on. It is an add-on that brings with it a number of tools that aim at helping speed up the workflow by making all the functions just a click away from you in Blender. Instead of spending your time looking up menus and scratching your head when it comes to getting to that function, this add-on allows you to get the most of your workflow for the least effort possible. It includes Light Manager that helps you create light setups for a selected object, also a Material Manager with a ton of features like swapping materials, deleting unused ones, so on and so forth. You also have Click Counter to keep track of your key presses per project, and soon 
it will be able to track your time on one project and there's also a shape generator and a node pie menu. We also have this nice free add-on which you don't realize you will need until you try it. It is a really useful add-on that speeds up your modeling workflow by allowing you to connect vertices and dragging and removing edges with just one click. This is how to use it. After installing the add-on in the edit mode, you hold Ctrl plus Shift plus Alt and this is the default hotkey which you can of course customize and change to whatever you want. Now with the middle mouse button, connect between any two vertices and they will be connected and a new vertex will be created on every edge along the path. On the other hand, to dissolve the vertices, you can use the same hotkey, only this time use the right mouse button and to target edges, just click on the edge you want to dissolve. We also have Easy Clouds Maker, which is a really useful add-on that helps you create volumetric clouds faster in Blender. You can customize the shape of the clouds by extruding faces or editing the different properties that exist in the add-ons panel. You can change the density, strength, voxel size, notch size, notch depth, and cloud colors. Also, if you didn't know, we now have Botanic 6.5, which is a grass and tree library from Botanic. It is a huge library of trees, grass, flowers, palms, shrubs, and plants and it is considered one of the most extensive vegetation libraries for Blender and it is compatible with both Cycles and Eevee. This version introduced a lot of new content with 17 new species, 103 new models and 20 new scatter presets in addition to a lot of features such as per branch hue and season adjustment sliders. Also animation types are now displayed correctly for looping animations and the number of looped frames is shown in the UI. Also, the botanic panel is no longer hidden in the edit mode. If you want to know more, you can check the link in the description below. Also, now we're going to talk about honorable mentions of some of the add-ons you probably should know about. We have procedural slime add-on, which allows you to generate slime between two points. There is also the procedural generation toolkit, which you can use to generate spaceships, mesh scramble, and sci-fi materials. Finally, we have fog planes, which is a large gallery of fog plane textures that you can drop in your scene to add atmospheric effects without any increase in rendering time. If you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.